In this video, we're going to be finding the area enclosed by the inner loop, that's when r is negative, of r equals 1 plus 2 cosine theta. Now we've looked at that curve before, but just to remind you what that looks like, we're looking at a curve that looks like this. Now, this part here, uh, we have R as negative, and I am interested in that shaded region there. Okay? So, 1 plus 2 cosine theta is negative uh, by rearranging that. Subtract the 1 from both sides, divide through by 2. We're looking at when cosine theta is less than minus a half. Okay, so if we work out the values of when cosine theta is equal to minus a half, so if I do a quick sketch of cosine, so like that, so minus a half is there. So I'm interested in integrating between these two values of theta. So inverse cosine of minus a half is 2 pi over 3. That's that value there. So that's it coming in at a tangent which makes an angle of 2 pi over 3 from the initial line. And then 2 pi, take away that, is 4 pi over 3. And that's the angle it's making as it comes out. OK. So the area that we're interested in is going to be 1 half times by the integral between 2 pi over 3 and 4 pi over 3 of r squared, so 1 plus 2 cosine theta, all squared d theta. Now I'm going to need to expand out that bracket. So 1 plus 4 cosine theta plus 4 cosine squared theta d theta. Now in order to integrate the cosine squared, I'm going to have to use my double angle formula. So cosine 2 theta is 2 cosine squared theta take away 1. So 2 cosine squared theta is cosine 2 theta plus 1. So 4 cosine squared theta is 2 cosine 2 theta plus 2. So we've got 1 half times by the integral between 2 pi over 3 and 4 pi over 3 of... Now we've got 1 plus 4 cosine theta plus that. So we've got the 2 cosine 2 theta, we've got the 4 cosine theta, and I've got the 1 plus the 2, so plus 3, d theta. Now I can integrate. So 2 cosine 2 theta is going to integrate to uh, 1 lot of uh, sine 2 theta. Then we're going to have 4 sine theta plus 3 theta, evaluated between 2 pi over 3 and 4 pi over 3. OK. So let's give myself a little bit more space. I'm going to go up here. Right. So let's start substituting in. So we've got sine of 2 times 4 pi over 3 which is root 3 over 2. So we get root 3 over 2. Then 4 times sine of 4 pi over 3 is minus 2 root 3. And then we get 3 lots of that, so 4 pi. Take away, now I've got to substitute the 2 pi over 3. So sine of 2 times 2 pi over 3 is the minus... Uh, root 3 over 2. Then in here we've got 4 times sine of 2 pi over 3, which is 2 root 3. 
And then we've got three lots of that, so plus 2 pi. OK. So we've got root 3 over 2. Take away 2 root 3. And I'm dividing that by 2. So we're going to have minus 3 root 3 over 4. So I'm multiplying through by the half at the same time here. I've got the 4 pi times a half, so plus 2 pi. So that's from the first bracket there. Then I've got take away 1 half times all of that. So minus a half times by minus root 3 over 2 plus 2 root 3. And that gets me take away 3 root 3 over 4. And I've also got minus 1 half times the 2 pi, so minus pi. So we've got minus 3 root 3 over 4, take away minus th take away, sorry, 3 root 3 over 4, which is going to get us minus 6 root 3 over 4, which is minus 3 root 3 over 2. And we've got 2 pi take away pi, so that's got us gets us plus pi. So you can either write it as pi take away 3 root 3 over 2, or minus 3 root 3 over 2 plus pi. Either the way around, that's fine. And so that is the exact area of the inner loop of the uh, curve R equals 1 plus 2 cosine theta.